Welcome back, hardcore wrestling fans. Another week of IPW Weekly Recap coming at you. I'm Aaron Royal alongside Ron Nemi. We've got two big matches tonight. First, you saw some of the footage last week. Rod Steele versus Mike Sullivan. And then in our main event, it's Agent Steele taking on the Black Nature Boy, Scoot Andrews. You know, Aaron, 911 Incorporated and the hardcore giant Ron Nemi have taken more than they can possibly stand when we've seen what happened to Jet Jaguar. Now the professionals have decided to take it upon themselves to bring back the heavenly bodies, the NWA World Tag Team Champions to IPW. Chris and Vito decided to take it upon themselves to listen to Rod Steele and come back and get back in my face. The professionals and heavenly bodies, 911 Incorporated feud promises to be long, bloody, and violent. <laughs> one member of 911 Incorporated and you don't know who's going to be coming next. It could be the Shane Brothers, it could be the hardcore giant Ron Nini, or it could be Mike Sullivan absolutely lighting your chest up with a wicked chop. Okay, I've never seen the viciousness displayed by Rod Steele is when he just attacked Jet Jaguar there, taking out the knee. This guy's about to get married. He's not only ruining his wrestling career, he's trying to ruin his life. This guy's taking it way, way too far. Mike Sullivan has decided to take matters into his own hands. Obviously, this show was taped a few weeks back at the Florida WrestlePlex. Big news coming out of Deltona, out of Pine Ridge High School. Mike Sullivan is the new IPW Heavyweight Champion, defeating Billy Fives. He, tomorrow night at the Florida WrestlePlex, will be defending against Agent Steele. And I can guarantee everybody out there, Rod Steele is waiting right in the wings. He wants his shot at Mike Sullivan, the new IPW Heavyweight Champion. He certainly does, but right now I think he's a little bit sorry he called this guy out as Mike Sullivan is just letting all the rage of 911 Incorporated and in fact the rage of the IPW locker room at a guy like Rod Steele. You don't go and try to take away a guy's career, take away a guy's livelihood. Yeah, you go out there and you do what you can do to the guy in the ring, but Rod Steele taking it outside the arena, you're paying for it right now. That's the arrogance. That's the arrogance of someone like Rod Steele. Oh my God! Oh! 
Liger. Yeah, so it looks like he's going for a running Liger bomb and instead hurls Rod Steele across the ring and crashing into the turnbuckles. You want to hurt somebody? You want to injure somebody? Mike Sullivan will take you right out of this business, Rod Steele. Speaking of Rod Steele, there he goes to the top rope and Mike Sullivan again, way too quick. Playing a little bit of possum, but obviously Mike Sullivan running on adrenaline, not nearly as hurt as Rod Steele thought he was, and Rod Steele looks like he's about to fall out off that top rope. June 8th at the WrestleFlex is going to be a huge night. Oh my Beautiful. god, huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex off the top rope by Mike Sullivan, absolutely leveling Rod Steele. You can see why Mike Sullivan is your new IPW Heavyweight Champion. Oh, big two count. He can beat Rod Steele. As far as I'm concerned, he's toying with him like a cat with a mouse right now. In a few weeks, Aaron Royal, we're going to have some of the footage, a special fan cam footage from up in Deltona at Pine Ridge High School where you can see Mike Sullivan winning the title. Oh, wow. Huge DDT by Rod Steele. That's why you gotta give this kid credit. He's always thinking. He's got a counter for every single move. Every time you think you got him beat, he comes back. He sure does, Ron. He takes down the now four-time IPW Heavyweight Champion. People can say what they want about Rod Steele, but he has certainly come into his own only a little bit into his second year as a wrestler here in IPW. And this guy's moved up the ranks. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him get that next shot, either Mike Sullivan or Agent Steele, after tomorrow night at the wrestling. There's not too many people that you could say are contenders for the TV title, the Cruiserweight title, and the Heavyweight title. And don't ever forget about him being a contender for actually the tag team titles. He could team up with at any time Pat McGroin, Pat Powers, ODD, who just destroyed Japan for the World Extreme Cup. ODD did IPW proud, and we're actually going to have footage from Big Japan in June from ODD absolutely annihilating Big Japan Pro Wrestling. That's huge. IPW making waves all over the globe, as always. So fans, be sure to come back and check out that footage of Deltona. Check out that footage of Big Japan. See exactly what you're missing by not going to the shows. We love you watching this each other week on TV, but you've got no idea just how exciting everything is unless you're there live in person. What amazes me watching Rod Steele, I mentioned the arrogance before. This guy's in there with a four-time IPW heavyweight champion, and he's walking around with a smirk on his face like this is nothing more than a game, like this is a plan. Do you think that he absolutely just destroyed Jet Jaguar's leg with the entire idea of luring Mike Sullivan to the ring? Do you think he's trying to get in the head of myself, the hardcore giant Ron Nini, and get to the core of 911 Incorporated? What's up with this guy, Aaron? Well, I tell you, this guy, first he joined NWA Florida when we had the feud with them. Now he's going up and joining the professionals. It looks like anything he can do to take you out, Ron Nini. Uh, nice rolling thunder there by Mike Sullivan. Just takes Rod Steele out. But Mike Sullivan, a little bit winded as well. It looks like Rod Steele finally beginning to take advantage and take it to the big man a little bit. Oh, beautiful maneuver there by Rod Steele. This usually finishes people off. One, two. Oh, almost a three count. It was a little bit slow there by Star Steven. Quite frankly, the guy might have got a little bit lucky there, Ron. I'm not going to say he got lucky. Again, Mike Sullivan always got that presence of mind to know where he is in the ring, to know where that count is at. And you see Jet Jaguar is coming out to support Mike Sullivan. He had to have crutches to get out to the ring because of Rod Steele absolutely destroying his leg with that huge door outside the WrestleFlex. Jet Jaguar, the hardcore giant Ron Nini, and Ecstasy are all rallying behind Mike Sullivan along with all the fans here at the WrestleFlex. Come on, Mike. you got to know. See, he's got to watch the tapes. He's got to learn from watching this kid that Rod Steele can hit that enormous maneuver at any time out of anywhere but again the presence of mind to get that shoulder up after the two and a half count come on Mike you weren't the IPW heavyweight champion for nothing take this kid out and do it quickly Okay, Rod Steele got a little bit cocky on that pinfall cover there. Shows you just the personality of this guy. And there you see Jet Jaguar taking no gut. And boom, clutch shot right to the ribs of Rod Steele. That's hardly quite enough payback. But it looks like it might be enough. A swing shot saved him right in his face. And this should be it, Nene. One, two, three. The winner of the match, Mike Sullivan, your new IPW heavyweight champion. He's not the new heavyweight champion from this match, obviously. He won the match in Deltona against Billy Fives after destroying Rod Steele right here. But you seen the heat. You see, this is what here, gets to me. Here comes the professionals, Pat Powers and Pat McGroy. We've been talking about these guys wanting to take you out. They like the way IPW quote unquote used to be. I'm not sure how anybody can't see how we've grown leaps and bounds since then. But these guys seem to have their head in the past. And quite frankly, their head quite up somewhere that we can't talk about here at even on IPW Weekly Recap. And here come the new heavenly bodies, Rod. And they, they haven't been here in about six months. And they look like...
Spike. They're out to defend you in Jet Jaguar, but no. Just tearing the hell out of Jet Jaguar. Then they come after the real prize. Ron Lee. The NWA World Tag Team Champions. The new heavenly body. Oh, my God. Just watching that makes my ribs ache. He took that crutch and absolutely smashed it into my ribs and then puts the boots to me. That's what I guess I get for them not being booked for over seven months in IPW. But the truth is, we destroyed them the first time around when they were led by that useless piece of garbage, Howard Brody, and now they're back for round two. And here come the troops, Mike and Todd Shane, the Jersey All-Pro Tag Team Champions, hit the ring. And here we go, Ron Nini. They may be big and tough, the Heavenly Body, but they want no part of the Shane. The Heavenly Bodies and the professionals busted my head open. I had to get my head bandaged up afterwards. I refused to get stitches and scar up this beautiful face of mine. The Heavenly Bodies, they don't care about the NWA. They don't care about IPW. All they're using those World Tag Team belts are for pawns. Listen to Vito. I can't very much to say when the Shane brothers are all over him like a bad habit and destroying him with those crutches. Look at Jet Jaguar. You can't take this kid out. He's unbeatable. Jet Jaguar, even with a destroyed leg, goes right after the NWA World Tag Champs. This is going to get ugly, Aaron.